Okay, so today we are going to, in this video, we are going to discuss about the problem, like you have created a project in the Eclipse. And uh, at the time of uh, creating the project, uh, you are able to create the project successfully, but then you are able to see this problem. Okay, so what problem you are facing? Can you tell me? There is a cross. Can you put your cursor on that cross? What is saying that? It is saying nothing. Okay, so okay. I will tell you the what is the reason. Reason is that in the latest version of Eclipse uh, and Java, they have provided a feature that is called module. Okay, so that is not according to me as everybody has their own opinion, but that is not so much useful. So we are not going to use that one. But by default, you have used this. Okay, so we are, okay, so I will do one thing. And now I'm going to remove that part. So first of all, remove that file module info.java just below it. Delete this file. Delete this file. Excellent. Now, can you write your code and run it? Write some code, system.out. dot. SYSO, control space, SYSO. SYSO, we call it SYSO. SYSO, control space, and enter. Control space and enter. Again, make a control space, SYSO. Control space, man. Control space together. Now, okay. within the backend, you can write any, ah, please write the, no, no, I hate this thing. Everybody from the internet, hello world. You want to say a hello world to Java? No, just, no, 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 no. Just write some name. Lord, Lord uh, Ganesha. Just write for me, please. Uh, if you want to write any, but just try to give to name of any supernatural power. Okay, it can be Grunanak, Lord, Sivaji, anything. Yeah, so run it, yeah. Yeah, you can click on that simply. Click on OK. Congratulations. It is resolved? Yes, yes. OK, so this type of problem never Every comes. Every time they are asking for uncheck the module or the yeah, module. So, yeah, so that's why I'm saying that just you can do one thing. Just click on file again hmm. and say new. And and uh, trust me, uh, so most of the time people are not going to face this problem. Tell me, reason is that currently I have given you the example of Java project, but in the future, in the future, we are going to use Maven project. Nobody is nowadays using the normal Java project. Everybody is using uh, Maven project concept. If you want to create a Java project, you use a concept that is called Maven. So in that case, you are not going to face this problem. But if you are creating a normal Java project, what you have to do? Click on Java project. And here you can say, yes, you are awesome. Now give some name to project. So whenever you are going to now, it will not create a problem. With... Sorry to interrupt in between, but yeah. uh, is there any use case? Means they have provided this option. So... Yes, yes. As I told you that the purpose of creating a packages is that you are going to provide some access, right? So there is a, there is a, what is happening? Uh, module info is basically used whenever you are going to uh, uh, make a, uh, one more level of access. Are you getting my point? So I will give the example. What is happening? Suppose take the example. I don't know. You have any experience in uh, using any other type of API? If you have experience in Java, like uh, using Selenium or Apache PY, any library, you have any experience? Uh, no, rest assured I have. Used. Rest assured you have. So that that is uh, uh, good enough for that. What is rest assured? It is nothing. Somebody has created a Java project, right? And it has created the some classes and functions which is going to help you to interact with the API. Yes or no? Yes. Now think about that. In your project, th this is simply a project. Trust me, that is a project that is created by some community. And now you want to use those classes and function in your project. So you need to include those classes and function in your own project, like Mithul new project. Yes or no? Yes. So how you're going to include that? How they are going to provide their, their project to you? Actually, they provide their project by creating a jar. That is called Java Archive. So you can also convert your project. Once you have developed the project, you can convert your project into the jar and then you can share to anybody. So when they are going to include their in their project, they are going to include their jar. Jar means now all your classes and function will be available to them. Are you getting my point? Yes. 
so now whenever they provide a jar in jar also they can provide they have a concept of uh, you can say package level access but above that they can create multiple modules there and in the module they can provide a, uh, the next level of access so module info is actually you can say that uh, you have defined your class de uh, design your classes within the package and you can create a collection of packages that will simply call module are you getting my point Yes. So we are we don't want to go in that complexity because that is not so much important from that perspective. But really in the market, if you want to sell something, right? If you want to sell your project and you want to make it more structured, then you can go with that. But that is not so much important. That is my opinion because till I have experience of you can say 15 years, I have not seen that that is so much useful. Maybe that can be useful in development or somewhere else. Is it okay? okay. So I think everybody's clear on that. If you are facing a problem, like whenever you are creating a project in the latest, so try to uh, uncheck that box that is called module uh, under create module info or suppose take the example you have already created and you are facing the problem. So you have to delete that file. So I think this is the solution for that. Thank you.